Well, I met Donna one day. There was a horse jumping up in the air and rearing up. And he stayed up there for about five minutes and he came back down and he went back up again. She says, I got that picture. I got that picture. Well, she never got the picture. But then after that, we got to be friends and she started this program with the pictures. And uh, ever since then, we've just been taking pictures since last year. Donna McAdams had an idea. Put cameras in the hands of some who work in the backstretch and see what develops. What she got is now the subject of an exhibit at the Racing Hall of Fame across from the track. As a documentary photographer, it's really important to me that people have the opportunity to tell their own stories. I don't think that I can just go on the back stretch and take photographs and do justice to other people's lives. And I always like to bring photography to the communities that I'm working with. Last year, I went to the back stretch and talked to a couple of people I had relationships with. I knew Louis Garcia. For, for a really long time. I had met him in 2004. I had a relationship with Carol Williams and I just sort of talked about what I was going to do and people that I knew came forward and then people would introduce me to people. Louis Garcia said, you need to meet Heather Cooch, she'd like to do it. And then I decided I wanted a trainer and I asked Kenny Stryker and he said yes. So it sort of was a little word of mouth thing. The lady said she was doing a document of old race trackers, so she asked me did I want to do it. I said, I'll do it. She handed me a camera and I went through like six cameras, <laughs> taking pictures. They gave me a little throwaway camera and they said, you know, take pictures. And I didn't have a lot of time and on the ground, so I started carrying it with me while I was working and taking pictures as I galloped along and gave my cameras to Donna and didn't think much and she brought me the results back and they were really interesting and so I kind of got really into it after that. And she just handed us some point-and-shoot film cameras and told us to start taking pictures of horses and uh, then we would uh, take a roll of film and meet once a week and she would develop them and critique them and uh, if the few that she liked she'd put them in plastic and so Louie would say I got plastic this week. <laughs> It's nice. I really enjoy it. It was a great time. I, you know, it was nice every time when you took a picture because we did film. So every time you got the film, you picked it up and you looked at it. It was like kid at Christmas. You were looking through it, and we all critique each other to find out which, what are the better pictures and everything else. You know, so it was early morning, and I was over at uh, behind Zito's barn on Peter Pew's. I was sitting on a bucket, and I had the camera in my right hand, and I'm hosing the horse in the left hand. I looked behind me, and I could see the sky and there was no light out like you see it was the red and the blue sky and everything behind it and I just started snapping pictures and then when they came out I looked at it and said oh my god what a picture it's beautiful you know real nice and uh, I got a few pictures of that I like taking pictures of light through the trees and everything and like everything just coming through like silhouettes and stuff. While Louis Garcia's interests lie in nature's color palette Assistant trainer Carol Williams prefers people watching. The paddock is probably the most fun place to take the pictures because of the people and the clothes they're wearing and the horses and what they might do. And um, so one of them is just a man, he's got uh, madras pants on and the woman standing next to him has a really brightly patterned skirt on and uh, she's holding a uh, program that says Saratoga on it. So I took that photograph because of the clothes they were wearing because that's probably the only place you could get away with it. You can wear anything in the paddock at uh, Saratoga and, and uh, <laughs> not get laughed at, I suppose. <laughs> my, my idea was to do something abstract, um, the broad, big shapes of the horse and, and the textures in the dirt and, and just kind of crazy, funny things. And, um, and it worked out. I was kind of surprised. Even, even the color wasn't too bad in a lot of them. Some of the guys cleaning horses, getting water to bathe them, and a few exercise riders. That's about it. Like all the shadow pictures, especially the ones while I was galloping, because they were, they were hardest to get because I was actually galloping the horse at the same time. And I would look over at the shadow and be, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could capture that. And it was really pure luck that I was able to get it in the frame the way that I wanted. The one with the guy holding the horse, that came out the best. He didn't even know I was taking the picture, so that's why it came out so good. Caught him off guard. Looking at the pictures, looking to see 
what's good and what isn't good. You know what I mean? Now that I, when I look at a picture, I can say that's just a picture. Now I can look at the coast through the picture. And say, oh, that's a real good picture. And this is a you know okay picture. I didn't want the show to just end after the meet in Saratoga at the Racing Museum, and I wanted to see if I could get a catalog for them. And so I asked the funding people who had given us money to do the project if they were interested in maybe funding a catalog, and they said yes. So now we have a you know 72-page color catalog that is a representation of all the photographers in this show. Yeah, no, I, I took